We'll come back to the angry American. <sighs> Listen, first off, I want to thank the Olympics in Paris, the 2024 Paris Olympics, because they have given YouTube commentators like myself, YouTube creators like myself, some of the best content <laughs> we could ever imagine to get from the Olympics. When I was growing up, the Olympics was cool. It was fun. I mean, now it, it, uh, wow. Joe Biden has delivered a lot of first in my life. Every time I said it wouldn't happen, it happened. Here's another first. We get to see a woman getting beat into submission by some dude that says he's a chick. You can't make this stuff up. I really can't show you much of it because they zapped me on my last one for playing uh, the opening ceremony, that freak show. All right, so here's the scene. I can't play the whole thing, but I'm just going to play like a brief one second and uh, you'll get the gist of it. It's, it's quick and I'm going to stop it right away so I don't get zapped. So here we are. I'm not going to play it because they DMCA took down everything that had to do with the uh, with the opening ceremony uh, catastrophe. So what I'm going to do is just kind of skip forward and uh, you can see it. It's real quick. I mean, this dude dropped. I mean, he ended this fight in 46 seconds. It took like two punches and the lady had had enough. Rightfully so. So here we go. Boom. The guy the guy is in the red. And he just hits her one time. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, right there. He just cracks her one time. She backs up. And then waves it off. She's like, I'm done. She's done. One punch. She's done. She's had enough. That one punch from this dude just rocked her world. And that's the problem with this whole woke agenda, folks. That's the problem. Somebody's going to get hurt. This woman right here worked her whole life for who knows how many years training and boxing other chicks. And now she's got to fight a dude in the Olympics. Her dream is now shattered. It's just completely unfair. Let's go on with the story here. This is the future that Kamala wants. The Paris Olympics erupted into controversy again on Thursday after a biological man easily prevailed in an Olympic boxing match after smacking around a much smaller and weaker woman for just under a minute. This follows Olympic organizers cruelly insulting Christians. Well, we all know about that Last Supper incident. The 25-year-old Karini then rightfully refused to shake hands with Khalif and fell to the floor bawling after just two vicious punches to the head from her Algerian tormentor who had been banned from a significant boxing competition a year before the Olympics. So this dude right here had already been banned. Already been banned because I believe they found out that this dude has XY chromosomes. So it's actually a guy. Allegedly. Actually a dude. So he beat up this chick and that's the Olympics. The Olympics has really just blown my mind. I've never seen anything like it. First you got that freak show at the opening ceremony. <laughs> I mean, that was some wild shit. I've, I don't even know what to say about that. But this, this is the icing on the cake. They're going to give us more. Because somebody's going to get hurt by this dude. And then it's going to be a wrap. Unless this dude drops out. Because this dude's going to be taking a lot of heat now. Uh, and there's no way that any gold medal that this thing gets should ever hold up. It's not fair to women. These people, these women that claim to care about women, they obviously don't care about women because women's rights would include protecting this woman and, and giving her a space where she can do her own thing. She's not surrounded by dudes that she has to compete with. She's surrounded by other women. That's why you have women's sports. I just can't even imagine how they justify this. It makes no freaking sense. They can justify some dude getting in there and saying, I'm a girl and beating up on a chick. They do it in weightlifting. <laughs> Man, this dude, this dude looked nothing like a chick. And he just dominates. It was up in Canada, I think. He's just dominating weightlifting and women's weightlifting. It's just the dumbest thing ever. 
It might have been down in New Zealand, too. It's just absolute trash. Nobody wants to see it. And if you do want to see it, you just might be that cat box, cat box, wine box cat lady that J.D. Vance was talking about because nobody else, nobody else's brain is so clouded. Watch out, Cheeto. So clouded that they can't see that this is wrong. No one. This is really sad. I made light of it, but it's really sad. This woman worked a long time to get to where she's at. She's an elite female boxer. And now she just got beat up on by some dude. Because the woke people don't want to hurt some guy's feelings. It feels like he's a woman. When he's definitely not a woman. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, hold on, hold on. Try not to cry. Angela Karina talks about competing in the Olympics for her late father. She just quit her boxing match after being forced to compete against a man. Uh, I don't know if I can play this. It's probably on the Olympics. Yeah, I can't play this. They'll zap me. But uh, I'm sure she's pretty sad. And uh, this whole thing's freaking sad. I can't believe it. Anyway, guys, we're going to have some more firsts from the Olympics, guys. You, you just wait. We're going to have some more good ones. Some more bangers. All right, guys, this is the Angry American saying, be aware of your surroundings at all times. Some crazy stuff be popping off out here. <laughs> There's more to come. Peace. Peace. Out. <laughs>